crypto aware of that. But Teals definitely has some very interesting edge cancels that we've already seen in his hand warmers. So let's see. Meta Knight Ness, I think Meta Knight bodies Ness because it's so easy to edge guard this guy. And Meta Knight is probably the best character in the game at any point. His back air and his down air can definitely reject his recovery with like reject. fairly, fairly easily. Fairly easily. Looks for the tech chase, gets the nice forward air. Stereo Kid still doing pretty good amount of work, but it's still fairly even. But here's the other thing too. With that dimensional cape, we do not a lot of people think, oh well, uh, I'm just gonna shield him and a shield, and that's where that mix-up becomes that much stronger. Because they're thinking, oh well, it's gonna attack. But there is actually no hitbox when you do that. And the hurtbox comes out even before the hitbox does on the dimensional cape. So if you throw out like a nair with Ness, you're gonna just beat it anyway, so you won't be able to have him get that follow-up. The down tilt wants a little bit of positioning, but that dimensional cape doesn't end up working. Risky recovery with the side B. Stereo Kid capitalizing with these nice down throw tech chases. And similar to Jose V, I'm sure Stereo Kid using that up B very, very effectively in the yeah, fact. If you notice, Stereo Kid has not been afraid to use B moves. He's thrown out uh, PK flashes after knocking him up. Throw out that up B, get a little more damage. Oh, wow, catches him slipping. Gets a nice up air, poking through the platform. And Teal's got to find a way back into this. He needs to take this stock right now. But the other thing, too, a lot of times when he's getting hit with the PK fire, all you got to do, clean, clean, just SDI. SDI upwards, and you can, as many jumps as Meta Knight has, you can do one or two of them and be free. Like, a lot of Nessus will rush in, like right here. There's no SDI upwards. He's just kind of doing it to the left. And if you do that, if you were shielding or anything, a little bit better there. But if you do it anything other than up, it's a pretty fair chance that they're going to get a grab. See, better, better, much better there, but he does get the grab mix up. Right now, Stereo Kid has a very solid lead, but the down tilt to back air. Teals takes the stock, and Taunt cancels Fight Me. Good up smash. Hits him on shield. A few more up smashes. And continues it. Teals with a. Uh, Good 33%, but he's got a long way to go to bring this back. Good back here. Oh, wow. The beautiful dimensional cape attack. Goes for the mix-up. And Teal's bringing it back. That can... Oh, this might be a zero to death. No, not quite. Not quite. Ooh, but the back throw from the pivot grab will take the stock. There's Stereo Kid taking Teal's third stock. One left for Teal's. And he has got to get a hold of this set before he actually loses for game one. 138%, a nair, a back air, a down air, likely all of them will take the stock. Good SDI in that PK fire, though. Ooh, the patience from that stereo kid, very, uh, very ballsy of him. Oh, good, rejecting the PK thunder. Doesn't get the PK thunder, too, for recovery. Ends up taking the back air. That's the stock. Teals can make it back, but we're going to need some very solid tech chases, like maybe a few down tilts, but... Stereo Kid with all the momentum right now continues to combo the down throw back air takes the stock. Nice. And that's it. Game one goes to Stereo Kid. Yep. Looks like we are going. Oh, I think they accidentally yeah, it might have been random. a accidental misclick of some sort. Yeah, but accidentally hit random. But uh, yeah. So what do you what do you feel between last that that last game and this upcoming game? What do you feel Teals needs to do to combat all that Stereo Kid's doing with the pressure with the forward airs, the PK fire, and such? Sure. I'll answer it. But <laughs> I, was saying, <laughs> I was saying, but but between this last match and this upcoming match, what do you think oh, Teals? What do you think, what do you think Teals three. needs to do? What do I think Teals needs to do? One. Teals wasn't playing too terribly. We saw near the end there. He was definitely doing good on that. Absolutely. He's, it sounds dumb. He's getting hit, and Sarah Kid was telling me, says, Yo, once I get that hit, they're done." He feels like his punish game is one of the best in like the world. He doesn't. He says, you know, my neutral's pretty good, very good, but you know, my punish game. Once right. I hit you, once I get you in PK fire, once I get you in down air, you're done. And I think if Teals can just play a little more carefully, creatively rather, mix right. things up more. What do you think? Well, yeah, that's definitely. I would agree too because the mix-ups that Teals was showing just in hand warmers beforehand, it was just. Oh, well, I have this stuff. Nice. Hits the stock. A lot of times it was, oh, I have this edge cancel, this edge cancel. And then prior to all of that, it was just, 
that's all I'm doing. And he wasn't really mixing up, it was just rushing in with a lot of different aerials. But now he's applying pressure a little bit more smart, a little more intelligently to the point where Stereo can, has to kind of guess what he's going to do. Like right there, grounded PK fire has a lot of end lag if whiffed. And Teals tries to capitalize, but the back air from Stereo Kid will take the stock. And we're back, three stocks apiece. Good power shield. Yeah. So I've noticed Stereo Kid gets a lot of really good research out of that down tilt. I've noticed he actually used that very high, ooh, wow. very high percent of the combo. Right. We saw that now, earlier. Down, down tilt's an incredible attack for Ness. Uh, it's, it's very fast, and it's got low knockback growth, so you can down tilt him to Nair. You can pretty much down tilt him to pretty much all of his aerials, uh, barring maybe... I guess forward air wouldn't really do you too much good, but nonetheless, down tilt's an incredible option that many nest mains use a lot, especially at higher percentages when they might not be able to get that back thrown or only able to poke with a down tilt. The only downside is it's outranged a lot because of his tiny little foot wearing like size two sneakers or something. So Meta Knight has that sword to also combat it with his own uh, down tilt, his own crouch cancel. And right now, Stereo Kid, though, seems to have a download on Teals, and this is looking very similar to last set, where Teals seems to be one to turn it on later in the set. Oh, not questionable forward air. Neutral air back air likely would have taken the stock. Ooh, that good neutral air. But every percent that Teals takes right now is definitely not something he's looking forward to. Like this, Stereo Kid's getting a lot of momentum. Good back here, that'll take it. 